All right, so I saw this cool anvil online. Now I'm gonna try to make my own version of it. And first, well, I guess first technically I had to order the steel, but I've got it. It's three inch thick steel, eight inch by 16 inch uh, dimensions. Uh, so first I gotta drill some holes and then we'll decide what to do from there. So one of the other anvils that I'm also doing is a striking anvil that I, I learned about from Alex Steele. And so I'm, uh, I'm gonna drill a, I've got it, I have a hardy hole in it already, but I don't have a pritchel hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and while I got the uh, mental machine set up, I'm gonna drill a hole, a pritchel hole in it too. You know, why not? Okay, so I got the holes drilled, but I need to clean up the striking anvil and I need to clean up the face of the plate that I'm gonna weld the striking anvil to and need to cut out holes and drill holes and all that kind of stuff. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and take care of that now. going to be able to hope to finish this in one video so i hope you've enjoyed it so far stay tuned because i might be wrapping this video series up before i can get any leather and wrap up the railroad spike knife series at any rate i hope you've enjoyed it uh, give me a thumbs up leave me a comment subscribe if you haven't already done it stay tuned because i will be finishing up all three of these anvils just as quick as i can appreciate it Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I feel dumb enough talking into a camera. I gotta do it again. It really is. I mean, you really do feel stupid. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't notice it was just gonna be in the video. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna make it in. <laughs>